Good morning, everyone. Please welcome today's MC, Gary Dick. Good afternoon. It is my distinct pleasure to host you today to serve as your MC for the 16th annual Impact Awards, a celebration of internship excellence. We appreciate you tuning in for this virtual celebration of the students, employers, and educators doing really great things throughout the state of Indiana. I'd like to be uh, the first of many today to congratulate the impressive number of nominees and winners we are about to honor. It is a privilege to have a role in recognizing your accomplishments. Now, to start off today, I would like to welcome Todd Hurst. Todd is the Executive Director of the Institute for Workforce Excellence and Work and Learn, Indiana. Todd. Thanks, Gary. Good afternoon. My name is Todd Hurst, and I serve as the Executive Director of the Institute for Workforce Excellence. On behalf of the Institute for Workforce Excellence and the staff of the Indiana Chamber of Commerce, thank you for joining us today. Today is an opportunity to celebrate internship excellence for interns, employers, educational institutions, and for our state as a whole. After seeing the work that everyone put in, I can certainly say their recognition is well-deserved. Over the last several years, we have seen many changes across the work-based learning landscape. Across the state, educators, policymakers, and employers are increasingly recognizing the potential work-based learning holds for establishing better paths to careers and developing a more skilled and knowledgeable talent pool. This recognition has led to the creation of new programs to support and create work-based learning experiences and new policy initiatives intended to highlight the importance of work-based learning as part of the educational continuum. Additionally, last year was an important step as Indiana Internet transitioned to Work and Learn Indiana, a change that reflects our organization's focus on the continuum of work-based learning across the state, including post-secondary, K-12, and adult experiences. Whether it's supporting low-income college students by partnering with the Commission for Higher Education for our EARN Indiana program, updating our technology to suit the needs of employers and educators around the state, or meeting with partners around the state to drive innovation, we've been busier than ever. Since Work and Learn Indiana's creation in 2001 as Indiana Internet, we've grown to become Indiana's largest work-based learning platform. Thanks to our online matching marketplace, we've served more than 120,000 students and thousands of Hoosier employers and educators. And we are more excited than ever about the future. We are currently working closely with the Commission for Higher Education, the Department of Education, and the Governor's Workforce Cabinet to bring EARN to the K-12 population, working with 22 school districts and partnerships across the state. Additionally, our team is leading a collection of state partners in conducting a study of the supply and demand for work-based learning across the state. This analysis will, analysis will inform efforts further advancing work-based learning and creating more opportunities for Indiana students and employers. We wouldn't be able to do this work without the financial support of the employers, educators, regional partners, and philanthropic community who I'd like to recognize now. I would like to first recognize a longtime sponsor of the Impact Awards, Ivy Tech Community College for your continued support of Work and Learn Indiana's mission in this annual event. We are always honored to work with you. We are excited to support your work with Indiana's learners and your efforts toward giving Indiana a brighter future. Sponsoring at the gold level is Rare Bird Inc. Thank you for your continual support of making our online platform the very best it can be. Our online matching marketplace is, a criti is critical to bringing employers and students together and it would not exist without your efforts. And thank you to our silver sponsors. These 10 organizations on your screen can be also found in your digital program. It means so much that everyone supported this event and we cannot thank you enough for your support. In addition to our event sponsors, I would like to thank the Indiana Commission for Higher Education for the privilege to bring students and employers together on behalf of the Employment Aid Readiness Network, better known as EARN Indiana program. This year, we launched a high school pilot expansion of the program, and we look forward to continuing to work together with the commission to assist both high school students and college students. I also want to thank the Lilly Endowment for your renewed commitment this year to support our core operations. It means so much to have your support, our, our support for our mission from our early years to today. Finally, I would also like to recognize the Indiana Chamber of Commerce. The Institute for Workforce Excellence is a 501c3 nonprofit managed and supported by the Indiana Chamber. This relationship enables our team to lead programs like Work and Learn Indiana with the support of one of the nation's largest and most active statewide chambers. We are truly excited to have such great partners and look forward to the amazing work we will accomplish with the Chamber team moving forward. Thank you. Gary? 
All right, Todd, thank you very much, and thanks for your continued leadership uh, as well. Now, let's hear from Kevin Brinegar. Kevin is the president and CEO of the Indiana Chamber of Commerce. Good afternoon. I'm Kevin Brinegar, and it's my privilege to serve as president and CEO of your Indiana Chamber of Commerce. The Indiana Chamber is the proud parent organization of Work and Learn Indiana, a program that we've been operating since 2004. I want to welcome you all to the 2022 Impact Awards. We are delighted that you have chosen to join us today as we recognize excellence in connecting our young people to meaningful internships and work and learn experiences. Today, we recognize outstanding students, employers, and educators who have utilized the work and learn system to create quality experiences for our young people that will better prepare them for their future careers. For many of these students, their work and learning experience was made possible and enhanced by the participation in the EARN program. The Indiana Chamber is proud that Work and Learn Indiana is the entry portal for the EARN program and that we have seen such strong placements of EARN eligible students from the program. We know that the EARN placement are extremely important to our less advantaged students and the chamber is especially committed to assisting these students in finding quality of placements. I wanna thank all of you in attendance who have helped students find their internships and those of you who have provided internship opportunities. Congratulations to all the winners and thank you all to the sponsors for making this awards event possible. Now, please enjoy the program. All right, Kevin, thank you very much. Well, I know we'd all like to be in person today, but I tell you, we are gonna have a great virtual event with a lot of fun and a lot of action. So here we go. To start the program, we'll recognize the Indiana employee, uh, employer nominees here today who are responsible for providing an internship environment conducive to work-based learning. Our nominees are joining us via Zoom. Please be ready with your webcam on so we can celebrate with you. After we recognized our employer nominees, we will announce our winners for the nonprofit and for-profit employer of the year. Now let's meet our nominees. First, Artisan Electronics, Bow Digital, Corteva AgriScience, Indris and Hauser, Higher Level, Indiana Park and Recreation Association, One America, ROI Search Group, Steel Dynamics Inc., The Garrett Companies, The MDC Group, Toyota Motor Manufacturing Indiana Inc., and Zotec Partners. Now, before I announce our employer winners, I'd like to take part in a little bit of a tradition of mine over the years in hosting this great event. Uh, in the past, the Impact Awards program, of course, in person as a luncheon. Each year, I would take a selfie with the group of luncheon attendees behind me. Now, we're not here in person, obviously, but I think we can still do this. We can still accomplish this in this uh, in this virtual world, world. So if you would uh, humor me and everyone get your uh, get your cameras on, and I'm going to take a selfie. Here we go, okay, I'll figure it out. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if I can get you all in here. Okay, everybody smile, maybe give a big wave. One, two, three. Okay, that's one, let me do another one. Getting some operator error there, all right. All right, guys. Okay, I think I got it. Thank you. <laughs> and thanks for, thanks for playing along. All right, now on to our employer winners. First, in the nonprofit category, this organization's internship program might be on the smaller side, but it makes a big impact. Interns aren't just part of the staff, they're an integral part of the entire team. While well, an intern's duties may be outlined in writing, this organization utilizes each intern's unique skill set by tailoring the experience to their abilities. Interns and staff work together to outline work accomplishments, not just the organization's goals, but the intern's personal learning goals as well. Their internship program serves as a successful talent pipeline with former interns joining their staff and also getting hired with their counterparts around the state. 
Congratulations, Work and Learn, Indiana's Employer of the Year in the nonprofit category, Indiana Park and Recreation Association. Good afternoon. I'm Courtney Pettigrew, IPRA's Membership and Events Coordinator and former intern. We are honored to accept this award and so proud to celebrate our interns. Interns are not just part of the team at IPRA, they are an essential part of our organization. The Indiana Park and Recreation Association has just three full-time employees and without the hard work of our incredible interns, we wouldn't be able to serve our members or deliver the education and programming that is central to our mission. Thank you, Courtney. I'm Felicia, Development Coordinator at IPRA. The staff at IPRA are committed to providing interns with real life experience that they can use in their future careers, and we're thrilled to be recognized for this commitment. We value our strong internship program and are grateful for every person that joins us and brings new ideas to the team. Thank you to Work and Learn Indiana and the Indiana Chamber of Commerce for this recognition. Congratulations, Indiana Park and Recreation Association. Now our winner in the for-profit category. This organization's interns uh, have the opportunity to make an impact, not just in Indiana, but around the globe. As a leader in its industry, this employer offers innovative experiences, harnessing the brightest minds in their field. They are dedicated to cultivating interns into long-term assets for their industry. While innovation is a strong component of their culture, they also believe in well-rounded individuals, giving interns opportunities to become more involved in outreach and society support programs. Interns experience a series of social and professional events during their internship, including welcome sessions, volunteer opportunities, networking, competitions, and employee speakers from different divisions. Congratulations, Work and Learn, Indiana's Employer of the Year in the for-profit category, Corteva AgriScience. Hello, I'm extremely delighted and feel blessed to receive this award on behalf of the Corteva Indiana Intern Management Team, as well as the entire Corteva AgriScience company. My name is Alumgi Rahman, and I am a discovery R&D scientist and also a member of the Indy Intern Management Team. As the world's one of the major agri-science company, Coteva is driven by its beliefs and purpose, which is to enrich the lives of others who produce and those who consume, ensuring progress for the generations to come. For creating such a future generation, it is essential to provide a nourishing blend of research opportunities and training, which is accomplished by offering internship opportunities to the bright young minds. Since 2019, we have hired 26 to 30 interns at the Indianapolis site each year, and we are poised to hire 26 interns this year, which speaks a volume of dedication in cultivating young and bright minds. We arranged a series of social and professional events for the interns, which includes welcome sessions, volunteer at the Harvest for Hunger Garden, celebrate National Intern Day with Ice Cream Social, speed networking and seminar series with employees and scientists, and project presentation through poster competitions. These events are also designed specifically for training the interns adequately, keeping in mind that today's young minds participating in the Corteva internship program will become the future researcher, scientist, and leaders of the company as well as the country. Following completion of their internship, most interns expressed deep gratitude and appreciation of their experience and how that has influenced their decision-making processes for future career path. Lastly, thank you to Work and Learn Indiana and Indiana Chamber of Commerce for recognizing Corteva AgriScience for our contribution to the society. Thank you. Congratulations, Corteva AgriScience. I should mention it was recently announced that Corteva's world headquarters is going to be right here in Indianapolis. A huge win for the company and a big win for the state of Indiana as well. It's very exciting. 
Well, next, we will honor uh, those nominated for Internship Supervisor of the Year. This category was introduced to honor specific individuals and companies that provided their interns with excellent opportunities, outstanding leadership, professionalism, and mentorship. They go above and beyond the standard work expectations as a supervisor, providing interns with a variety of opportunities, possessing unique qualities that set them apart from other internship supervisors. Please be ready with your webcam on if you are nominated so we can celebrate with you. After we recognize our nominees for this category, we will announce our winner for Intern Supervisor of the Year. We begin with A.J. Awat with Goodellnet Consulting. Matteo Cuminati with Corteva AgriScience. Garth Eberhardt with the International Center. Johnny Kohler with Chick-fil-A Terre Haute. Anna Larson with the Garrett Companies, Lauren Lounsbury with the Center for Civic Innovation at the University of Notre Dame, Whitney McKim with Ireland Home Based Services, Maddie Rogers with InFocus, Greg Sapp with Artisan Electronics, Jason, uh, Jason Shutley with Flaherty and Collins Properties, Abby Zentis with NetLogix, Cameron Utter with Quest Safety Products, Inc. Roger Ward with Vehicle Service Group. Tim Watt with Raytheon Technologies. And Megan Zegler with White River State Park. Congratulations to all of our intern supervisor nominees. Now our winner in the category of Intern Supervisor of the Year. Intern spoke highly of this supervisor's professionalism leadership and mentoring. They prioritized their intern's growth and took the time to get acquainted with each intern in their program. They are well known for their relentless work ethic and humility. This supervisor coaches each intern to prepare them for the professional world and supports them in figuring out their strengths and areas for improvement. Originally starting out as the first intern at their organization, this supervisor has now come full circle to manage the entire internship program. Congratulations to Work and Learn Indiana's Intern Supervisor of the Year, Cameron Utter with Quest Safety Products, Inc. Thank you, and I'm honored to receive this award of Intern Supervisor of the Year. I want to thank Quest Management, specifically our CEO, Sam Yadav, for supporting my vision for this program. I also want to thank all the interns that have come through the doors of Quest Safety Products that made this possible. In 2016, I was Quest's first intern, and the first assignment I was given was to build out this program in partnership with Marion University, other universities in the city of Indianapolis and throughout the state of Indiana. I think one thing that makes our, uni our program so unique is that we truly give the interns projects and assignments that directly impact our success as a company. Specifically, I'm the director of e-commerce sales at Quest, and I've had several interns come and work under me in my division, and they've helped us become the fastest growing account in the history of Quest safety products and we currently account for 20 or for 33% of Quest's revenue. Andrea Samano, Sabrina Brown, Dresden Johnson, Shaquille Ash, Austin Ginther are just a few interns that have helped us have that success. My goal with the interns that come through our doors is to replicate the same experience that Sam Yadav gave me. He truly invested in me and poured into me, and he gave me opportunities that I wouldn't have had otherwise. So it's my goal to invest in them, both professionally and personally, through the readings we have them do, the presentations we have them give to senior management. And it truly is one of the most fulfilling parts of my day. So again, I wanna say thank you for this award. I'm honored and very grateful to receive it. Thank you. All right, congratulations, Cameron. Now we will honor the nominees for Career Development Professional of the Year. Nominees in this category are recognized for their assistance to employers with creating internship programs, communicating with students and employers, and coaching of students on internship professionalism and career development. Please be ready again with your webcam on uh, if you are nominated so we can celebrate with you. After we recognize our nominee for this category, we will announce our winners for College and High School Career Development Professional 
of the year. We begin with James Amell with Purdue University, Brandy Bast with Marion University, Beth Bates with Alexandria Monroe Junior and Senior High School, Drew Carey with Ivy Tech Community College, Eric Feller with Oldenburg Academy, Kathy Cassasia with Rose Holman Institute of Technology, Taranae Madani with Ivy Tech Community College, Nicole Adi with Indris and Hauser, Jenny Tressler with Ivy Tech Community College. And congratulations, one and all, our nominees in the Career Development Professional of the Year category. Now we have two impact awards for Career Development Professional of the Year. We want to recognize all of the amazing hard work being done in both the college and high school sectors. First, for College Career Development Professional of the Year. This career development professional is responsible for many of the uh, success stories and the success stories of many alumni. They build a strong rapport with students. So when they recommend opportunities with employers, it's coming from someone the students really trust. And because of this educator's connection with students, employers also trust that the recommended candidates are the best fit for their opportunities. This career development professional goes above and beyond developing internship preparation programming for first and second year students and making connections in unique industries like roller coaster design, toy design, NASCAR racing teams, and robotics, so quite a diverse uh, number of areas. Congratulations, Work and Learn Indiana's College Career Development Professional of the Year, Kathy Cassasia with Rose Holman Institute of Technology. I am so grateful for this award. And I want to, of course, thank my director, Scott Teakin, as being the person who uh, nominated me for it and showing that he acknowledges what I do every day. But quite honestly, this is a group effort and everything we do here in Career Services at Rose Holman is a combined effort with all of us as a staff. And I believe probably one of the main reasons why um, I was nominated is the relationship building that I do with individual students, as well as when I meet um, and present to groups. Um, it makes the students feel comfortable and want to come back. And so this is an encouraging and uh, a, a place that people like to hang out even when they don't need me for a job they want to come back and say hello uh, the same thing goes with down the road building that relationship as a freshman having them come back each year and multiple times throughout the year and then even seeing them as alums um, years after they graduate so that would be my key um, as far as any advice I would give to other career services professionals as well. Don't be afraid to build those relationships with students. Start early and get with them often so that you understand uh, what it is they're looking for and how you can help them get there. And um, maybe as a parent that is starting to wear off on me trying to parent all of these kids. So I have 2000 children on this campus. God help us all. But um, at the same time, you know, I want to treat each of them the way that I would want my own child to be treated. So again, I think career services has a very big role when it comes to the future of these kids that are in college. And I'm grateful to play a part in that. And thank you once again for recognizing me for that. All right, congratulations, Kathy. Next, we want to recognize the High School Career Development Professional of the Year. This career development professional works with employers to design an internship that's impactful for both the student and the employer. They make sure interns have a strong grasp of the soft skills that are expected in a professional environment. They maintain clear and consistent communication with interns and employers, ensuring expectations are met and that each internship is a meaningful experience. This educator also made extensive contacts in their area to ensure they can place students in internships related to their interests. Congratulations, Work and Learn Indiana's High School Career Development Professional of the Year, Eric Feller with Oldenburg Academy. Hi, I just want to thank everybody for uh, who nominated me for this award, specifically Amy Streeter. Who, uh, who has who's known me for about four or five years. And she is, and I, I, was, I was shocked, to be honest, to be nominated for this. 
Um, this is my first year officially with the program. So me nominating a bunch of these students at a, even at a very small school has, has had a positive impact on me, but most especially the students. I've, I've gotten nothing but positive feedback from the students and local businesses for allowing me to work with them and the students. And as I said, I think the biggest thing is not only that the students are figuring out what they want to do in their post-secondary life, but maybe more importantly, what, you know, maybe some things they don't want to do um, because they're figuring out that it, maybe that job wasn't right for them. But I think overall, the biggest thing that, that the students have learned is, is just life in terms of these experiences. They're seeing real life experiences at these businesses who have been extremely supportive of us here um, across Southeast Indiana specifically. And as we move forward, I'm developing more relationships with these businesses. And I know I'm just going to get better at this personally, and which is why I think the program um, that we have here in place has just been nothing but superb. All right, congratulations, uh, Eric. Really neat to see uh, the work being done, the uh, intern ex excellence really at both the high school and collegiate levels and the statewide nature of the uh, nominees and the award winners today. Let's hear now from our sponsor, Ivy Tech Community College, along with Dr. Sue Elsperman, the president of Ivy Tech, as she introduces the intern of the year categories. Workplaces in our region are changing, and at Ivy Tech Community College, we are committed to preparing you for tomorrow's evolution in manufacturing technology today. We work with top employers in our community to train you for the skills you need in our brand new, state-of-the-art Larry and Judy Garatoni Center for Advanced Manufacturing and Automation. Smart manufacturing is here, and Ivy Tech is making sure students like you are successfully prepared for the fast-paced and cutting-edge industry of tomorrow. Smart manufacturing, smart future. Hello, I'm Dr. Sue Elsperman, president of Ivy Tech Community College, and we are proud to partner with the Indiana Chamber and Work and Learn Indiana as sponsors of the 2022 Impact Awards. We are Indiana's community college, which means our community partners are critical to what we do every day in preparing students to become successful in the workplace and in their careers. Last year, we launched our new career development program through the creation of the Office of Career Coaching and Employer Connections, or CCEC for short. Through the work of our CCEC, we are integrating student career outcomes as a vital part of a student's journey from application through employment. With CCEC in place, our students will graduate with key employability skills, work and learn experiences, interview and resume experiences, and ultimately land a good job. At Ivy Tech, we know how important meaningful work and learn experiences are to prepare students for successful careers. With a highly skilled workforce, communities are able to attract businesses, gain greater economic stability, and improve infrastructure and vitality. We are thankful to our employer partners who make these work and learn experiences possible for our students and greatly increase the probability that these graduates will stay in Indiana. That's why Ivy Tech is thrilled to introduce the Intern of the Year Award. Congratulations to all the nominees. Sue, thank you very much, and thank you to Ivy Tech Community College for its continued support of Work and Learn Indiana and this, uh, this great program. Our last category, Intern of the Year, recognizes interns who embody internship excellence. The individuals nominated in this category were evaluated on their contribution to an employer's business, leadership skills, and professionalism. Today, we are honoring nominees in three categories for Intern of the Year uh, awards. High school intern, non-traditional intern, and college intern. Each of these individuals deserves recognition for their exemplary contributions. High school intern and non-traditional intern nominees, please be ready with your webcams and have them on so uh, we can celebrate when it's your time to shine. Here are your high school intern of the year and non-traditional intern of the year nominees. Dornell Brisbane with MV Commercial Construction, LLC. Jennifer Cobbs with Rose Holman Institute of Technology. Willie Deloney with the Center for Civic Innovation at the University of Notre Dame. 
Benjamin Knight with Pain and Pain Renovation and Design. Dana Perez with the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. Chris Radel with Energy Improvement Matters. Shelby Rosenberger with Franklin County United Way and Laurel Elementary School. Diana Silva Esparza with the Center for Civic Innovation at the University of Notre Dame. Ben Thomas with the Indiana Arts Commission. Congratulations to all of our high school and non-traditional Intern of the Year nominees. Now for our high school intern of the year. This high school student really impressed their supervisors with their professionalism, uh, organization, good character, and positive attitude. While they worked with confidential and sensitive information, they always handled it maturely and responsibly. When their supervisor wasn't present in the office, this inter uh, intern took the initiative to complete whatever work they could anyway, gaining a reputation for being responsible and self-sufficient. They took on two internships at once while uh, still attending high school and then went above and beyond for both of them. Congratulations to Work and Learn Indiana's High School Intern of the Year, Shelby Rosenberger from Franklin County High School with Franklin County United Way and Laurel Elementary School. Hello, my name is Shelby Rosenberger and I want to start by thanking my supervisor, Pam Gutzweiler, for nominating me for this award and allowing me to learn and grow so much from his, her guidance. My internship at the Laurel Elementary School Counselor has helped me to realize that in my future, I want to become a mental health counselor. Before my internship, I wasn't really sure on what I wanted to do, but now I know that I want to pursue a degree in psychology and help people with my future. My internship has cleared up so many hard and stressful decisions, and I'm forever grateful for this program because of it. I also love and cherish all the relationships I've been able to make at Laurel. Everyone there always treats me with so much respect and kindness, making my time spent there so enjoyable. Lastly, I want to thank Jackie Bearclaw and Sarah Shaver for making my internship possible. Without it, my life would probably be much more stressful right now. Thank you so much again for recognizing me as Indiana's high school intern of the year. All right, congratulations, Shelby. Next, our winner in the non-traditional Intern of the Year category. This intern successfully developed a proposal for their organization's Juneteenth Jamboree, including budget details, vendor information, and visual aids with design concepts for the event. Based on their thorough research and analysis, funding was secured for their proposal. They used their creativity to make a festive environment that made guests feel really special and also celebrated, even designing and building custom centerpieces to tie the event together. During the event, they took charge of managing the space, engaging guests and community partners, and delivering a VIP experience. Congratulations to Work and Learn Indiana's non-traditional intern of the year, Dana Perez with the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. Thank you so much, Work and Learn Indiana, for honoring me with this year's Impact Award for Intern of the Year. Thank you also the Children's Museum of Indianapolis and my wonderful mentors, Tim Scully and Angelina Moore, for nominating me. The internship program at the Children's Museum is one of the best in Indiana. I felt so welcomed and instantly a part of the team. I acquired a diverse set of new skills and real work experience, and I felt very fulfilled for contributing to the good work that they do. So thank you again so much, and also congratulations to my fellow interns on their nominations for their impactful work. Thank you. All right, congratulations, Dana. Now lastly, let's meet our largest category, College Intern of the Year. There will be a lot of you to show via Zoom, so please be ready with your webcams uh, on as I read all of the nominees' names. We begin with Isabella Botello with the Center for Civic Innovation at the University of Notre Dame. Jenna Burrow with the Fishers Police Department. Louis Diltz with Somerset CPAs and Advisors. Evan Georges with Lawrence County Economic Growth. Bradley Gubernath with World Baseball Academy, Inc. Megan Harris with the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. Leonardo Ibarra Ortiz with Allison Transmission. Alexandra Clemmy with Genie Supply. Deirdre Lagore 
with the Center for Civic Innovation at the University of Notre Dame. Connor LaGrange with RHB Inc. Haley Lucas with NetLogix. Hannah Mayorga with Arts for Lawrence. Paige Miley with Blackmore Partners, LLC. Tori Miller with R-Dog Glass Packaging. Michaela Miller with Rex Baseball. Caitlin Milligan with Bow Digital. Sierra Moore with Kids Play Gym. Taryn Morgan with, the Indi with Indiana University and Regan Streif Institute. Harrison Nealon with Seven Seas Construction. Riley Parshall with Indris and Hauser. Josie Pipkin with the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. Allison Reese with Seaside Sustainability. Greta Rempel with the Center for Civic Innovation at the University of Notre Dame. Hannah Rickett with Sherwin Williams. Colin Roach with Artisan Electronics. Emma Roberts with Vigo County Historical Museum. Mireya Robles with In Focus. Riley Shives with The Garrett Companies. Taylor Sorrell with Corteva Agriscience. Sarah Sweesman with the Indiana with Indiana Public Health Association. Chevelle Tallman with the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. Megan Trulove with Indianapolis Airport Authority. Courtney Valmore with Indris and Hauser. Laura Wilker with Corteva Agriscience. Adam Weinbar with DK Pierce and Associates Inc. Hannah Zier with Millipore Sigma. Now for our college intern of the year. This intern is known for their incredible work ethic. They built valuable relationships, not only within their organization, but all across their industry. Building a reputation amongst their colleagues, they are now a board member of the Indiana Division of the International Association of Identification, an honor typically reserved for full-time forensics professionals. This intern became a certified evidence technician to respond to and process crime scenes. They also became a drone operator using drones to search for missing people. They went above and beyond the expectations of their role, earning the respect of everyone in their forensics unit. Congratulations to Work and Learn Indiana's College Intern of the Year, Jenna Burrow with the Fishers Police Department. Well, thank you so much. I am deeply grateful and honored for the recognition of being this year's Impact College Intern of the Year. Thank you to Work and Learn Indiana for providing a space that highlights the hard work and achievements of interns throughout the state. I'd like to take this time to thank Chief Gephardt of the Fishers Police Department for granting this internship and allowing me the opportunity to work hard and learn an abundance about the world of law enforcement. I'd like to thank Detective Sergeant Jim Hawkins of the Forensic Services Unit for being an amazing mentor, source of um, encouragement and phenomenal resource pertaining to all things forensics. Um, I would be nowhere without the opportunities afforded to me by my superiors. So again, I am super grateful. The knowledge and connections I have gained throughout this internship ultimately resulted in the foundation for a career. This January, I began working for the department full-time as a civilian criminal forensic investigator. I am honored to be working with respectful, hardworking people, and I owe so much of that to my experiences as an intern. Being an intern has been one of the most rewarding experiences of my life, and I cannot thank those who made it happen nearly enough. All right, congratulations, Gina. For our final award, we'd like to present the David R. McKinnis Community Partner Award. Now, this is very special recognition established last year and honoring an individual or organization that works to better their community by creating or supporting high quality internships and experiential learning opportunities. Our winner has an extensive and well-documented history with higher education, economic development, and shaping Indiana's future workforce. This individual has made long strides throughout their career to help ensure Indiana's post-secondary education system meets the needs of students and the state. They act as a true advocate for the importance of work-based learning 
and work for everyone to gain access to quality educational opportunities. Their efforts have helped bridge the gaps between Hoosier employers, educators, and students. In their work as a state legislator and Indiana Commissioner for Higher Education, we've seen progress and innovation in how Indiana approaches education and work-based learning. Congratulations to our recipient of the David R. McKinnis Community Partner Award, Teresa Lovers. Let me begin by saying thank you. Thank you to the Indiana Chamber of Commerce and Work and Learn Indiana for acknowledging the partnership with the Commission for Higher Education. It's been my pleasure during the time that I've been commissioner to partner with you uh, to work as a member of the board for, for what was then uh, Indiana Internet and to be schooled by David McKinnis on the importance of, of internships as well. The mission of Work and Learn Indiana was really a trailblazing mission. We were talking about the importance of quality internships before it had really become um, the thing of the day. And I believe that what that has resulted in is thousands of Hoosier students have had the opportunity to have a quality internship and a jump start on their career. Uh, those have been college students in the past. We're now expanding that mission, I know, to include high school students so that earlier in their lives, they have an understanding of what jobs are actually like and what, uh, and hopefully a quality internship as well. At the commission, we have a strategic plan. And one of our metrics is that 100% of our degrees and programs would have embedded career relevance an internship, an apprenticeship, some sort of work-based learning. And uh, we know that when they do, students are more likely to persist and be successful and be prepared for their careers and their jobs. Um, this partnership with employers throughout Indiana, I think has been uh, one of the biggest successes in changing the way we think about the alignment between learning and work. So it's my pleasure to receive this award. I'm grateful for the work that you do, and I know who your students are as well. Thank you, Teresa. I want to extend a heartfelt congratulations to each of our winners and to all of our nominees for making Indiana a great place to work and learn. Thank you to the Impact Awards judges who volunteered their time to read nominations and making the difficult decision of selecting our winners. And I'd also like to give a huge thank you to Gary for supporting us as our host and master of ceremonies that year after year. You always have a finger on the pulse of Indiana's businesses and workforce, and we appreciate you helping us recognize Indiana's best and brightest today. And with that, thank you to all of our attendees for celebrating internship excellence in Indiana today. Congratulations to all the nominees and winners. Your hard work makes a difference, and we're all very glad you are putting your talents to work in Indiana. Have a great afternoon.